Here's the magnet that was in the pan. It is loaded up with really fine metal shavings. Most of it looks like uh, clutch material and it smells like clutch material. I got a big chunk right there but it doesn't look like gears from like the planetaries but I could be wrong. Obviously the whole transmission is going to have to be torn down, but um, on the Snowcat, this is the, uh, the only part mechanically that I didn't take apart, and this transmission had 250,000 plus miles on it. So what I'm guessing has happened is the line pressure got low because the wiper arm inside the pump is probably worn out or it's knife edge so it hangs up and so the, the line pressure doesn't go up and I think um, once that happened and there wasn't enough pressure to hold the clutches it didn't take long for the clutches to burn themselves out which is probably why it started in the gear that has the least clamping force which is overdrive and then it worked its way down eventually to all of the gears to the point where now if it goes into first you're pretty lucky so we'll continue further here and uh, see what the carnage is like inside should be pretty interesting it does smell really burnt though also, if you look at this pan, there are some uh, decent sized chunks in there. It's probably hard to see. And it's got a little shiny tint to it. So, well, maybe I did blow up a planetary gear, which is pretty common in these, from what I'm reading online. They use these transmissions in a bunch of different vehicles. Um, the most popular one that they used it in was the 240SX, believe it or not. It's an REO 4 r one a or something like that. Jatco made uh, transmissions for the Nissans. And then the, the biggest one that they made that is the most robust and actually does pretty well is the uh, one that they used in the Nissan Patrol, the diesel. And uh, the tail shaft is different on that because it's got a transfer case on it. But it's pretty much identical to the JR403A from my understanding. Um, and it might have some heavier duty clutches in it or something like that, but I'm not sure. I think at a certain point, if you've got enough line pressure, your clamping forces are going to be the same. So, I don't know what to think about that. But, um, I have a bunch of parts on the way. And uh, they're not going to be here till next week, which is kind of disappointing. For the most part, um, some of the stuff will be here this week, and then the rest of it will be here next week. I've been watching videos on YouTube and studying um, these transmissions what their failure points are so I kind of have an idea of what I'm looking for but I am also using the um, the Jatco JR403 service manual and I'm just going through that step by step because I don't want to screw anything up one other thing that I noticed here is there's a little tiny dent in the pan right there and some paint is starting to peel up off of it I don't know if that had anything to do with this failure, but I doubt it. Let's keep going.
Look at all this fun stuff. Metal shavings galore. I'm hoping I do have to take this uh, valve body assembly apart because um, I have a shift kit on the way. So uh, it will have to get cleaned up. I'll have to break both parts down and uh, just go through this and I mean this is a mess. Whatever blew up in here blew up pretty good. Let's move on. I don't even know where to begin. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of carnage here. So I guess I'll start with this. This is the uh, planetary gear, or one of them. And look at all the teeth, how they're rounded off. This one's got problems turning because it's actually deformed. It's got a hump on one side. This one, it's, got, it's missing a bunch of chunks. That one's totally trash. So this part's no good. I believe this is supposed to have teeth on it. Like these teeth that are right here are supposed to extend all the way out. So that part's no good. And then, uh, we start to get into some of the lesser damage. If you see here, there's these bushings in here, these aluminum bushings. Those are no good. So those are trashed. Those will have to be tapped out of there. Um, if you look at some of the holding drums, they're just covered in metal. So I 
like I could probably do this for a couple weeks out here in the garage and uh, I still wouldn't get all the shavings off of it I'm kind of regretting giving up the uh, free dishwasher parts cleaner I would come in really handy for this project Continuing on with the uh, carnage here. This is a clutch drum. And once again, we have uh, big chunks of metal. Um, So yeah, now these transmissions are notorious for blowing out the uh, planetary gears. There is a fix for them and I did order. It's a Transgo shift kit which uh, provides greater lubrication to all the planetaries. And um, I think the line pressure increases a bit so the clutches don't slip. But um, this is what I'm dealing with here. Uh, keep in mind also that this is a learning process for me because I have never in my life taken any type of transmission apart. I usually just throw that one away or recycle it and then um, get, a, get a new one or a used one or whatever. Here's the... Um, there's another thing that I don't know if I showed this to you yet. See that? All that play that's in there. And I think this assembly is supposed to come apart. But for the life of me, I can't figure out how to get it apart. I've been playing with it for an hour now. And there must be a snap ring I can't get to or something. But the book shows it that you could just lift this part out. And uh, it is locked in there pretty good. Now this part sits like this on here. And then it's got this snap ring that um, is supposed to line everything up. However, this is trashed as well. All of these teeth are chipped and broken and busted. So this is no good. So we've got a bunch of uh, no good parts uh, for this transmission. Now, I haven't taken the oil pump apart. I'm going to do that in a separate video or whatever but these the clutch hubs look brand new and there's no metal in them I'm still gonna pull these apart and uh, check the tolerances on these clutches I do have a clutch kit on order um, and these bearings actually look uh, really good too there's there's no scarring or anything so that parts good here's another one oh, everything's stuck to the table with ATF this part is actually good too. I may have to put a new bushing in it, but it looks like what happened is everything outside of an area that, that gets transmission fluid pumped to it is trashed. So this these get transmission fluid pounded through them. So they stay pretty clean even if there's metal shavings in the mix because to get to this it has to go through the transmission filter first the external one that I have so I think that saved um, some of these parts so I'm glad I had that taken care of and of course these um, all these races and bearings are all still good too I mean there's absolutely nothing wrong with them there's no burning or any burn marks or anything on them so those are good um, I got something to show you guys here let me clean my hands up yeah um, the case is in really good shape too and uh, the case is actually pretty wide open except for a couple of small passages um, they're in here I'm gonna take this outside it's aluminum I'm just gonna take it outside and pressure wash it and uh, get rid of the gunk that's in it um, and then the other thing <coughs> excuse me <coughs> the other thing that I'm gonna do 
this part's good too. See, it's got a nice needle bearing, a roller bearing on it. Rolls really nice. So you're probably wondering where am I going to get all these parts? Well, Nick Orlov, uh, who's Bud Nixon on YouTube, had a spare and I, and he doesn't think that this one has reverse. So I'm going to tear this apart and see if the planetaries and all the other gearing is still good in it. And basically just uh, salvage off of this what I can. So that'll be a whole nother day of tearing another transmission apart. And I got the torque converter. I got one from him and then I got this one. And I'm real hesitant to use this one because of all the metal that went flying through everything. So I may end up using this one. Um, but I, aside from that, you know, I've got all these parts on order and, um, all these bearings, by the way, look good too. So I got real lucky on some of this other stuff. This is a parking pawl or the parking gear. It's got a little lever here that when you pull on the, or shift it to park, it, it grinds into these or it seats itself into that. Anyhow, uh. There's a bunch of other little things that I want to fix on Rusty. I did figure out what that leak in the rear on the OC12 is. It's it's on the um, it's on the actual steering band rods. There's no seal there, so what happens is as it's flinging oil around, it just comes out the steering band rod area. There's there's just no seal there for some reason. So I have to figure that out. But um, on a side note, I'm just totally unmotivated to do this for whatever the the case may be. I'm really bummed out that the cat broke down and um, this is just monotonous work and I, I'm actually learning something from it but I'm just totally unmotivated right now. I'm, I'm sure you guys can relate with all the stuff that's been going on this past year and um, yeah. So I think what I'm going to do is spend another day tearing that other transmission apart. I'm not going to film that. Um, and then I'm going to start piecing together all the good parts that I can. So once I get the other transmission apart, I'll set aside all the, all the parts that are good. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that all the planetaries are half decent. Because I looked at the pricing on them on eBay and it would just be cheaper for me to do a manual conversion at that point. And I really don't want to do that because uh, the transmission sits kind of, you know, I moved the engine back quite a ways so the transmission sits kind of far back. And uh, I've always thought that the ultimate snow travel machine would have an automatic transmission. The other thought that occurred to me is why couldn't I use a centrifugal clutch, like a heavy duty centrifugal clutch and just eliminate all this? I don't even know if there is such a thing. So direct from the flywheel to the drive shaft. I don't know if it exists or if it would last very long. But I just started thinking, like, what would be the simplest, easiest fix? And you could carry a spare with you. And it would be a centrifugal clutch that bolts directly to the frickin' flywheel. Or through the bell housing or something like that. Um, if you know of any industrial grade centrifugal clutches, that would be a fun experiment to see if it would actually work. I don't know if it would or not, but it was just a thought that came to mind. Because snowmobiles use that. Um, but they use like a belt in their lighter. But what about like go-kart style clutches? Something like that, but on a larger scale. Do you think that it would work? Um, would have to have a pretty high weight rating because the cat weighs, you know, 7,500 pounds. But just something that came to my mind. Um, I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of each other. I know there's been a lot of things going on outside of YouTube or on YouTube if you watch certain channels. Um, the whole thing, uh, not to get into politics or anything, but I don't want to take sides on that. But um, it's just really sad what's going on right now. So I hope you guys are staying safe. If you uh, like this video, as always, uh, give me a thumbs up. Love to see your comments down below. Leave some comments for me. Um, tell me what your thoughts are on this whole project. Like I said, this is my first time doing an uh, automatic transmission or any transmission for that part. Um, and it's kind of overwhelming to me, but I am using the 
I printed up all the entire service manual and it goes step by step by step and I'm just doing that so I've got what a hundred pages left to go through the whole process the next thing will probably be um, taking that apart and the little wiper arm in there is notorious for not providing enough line pressure so you have to take the burrs off of it because it forms a knife edge but I'll get into that when we um, move forward on this project but uh, I think that's going to be it and uh, kind of long-winded narration here at the end but I wanted you guys to see what the carnage was and uh, what my plans are so but other than that guys uh, take care of yourselves and each other and I'll catch you next time see you later bye bye